So I'm Liv and I am, um, today I'm going to walk through a couple of templates on Canva that you might want to use just to help with your marketing purposes. And so I'll share the templates with you and show you how to personalize them um, and even how to like take the ideas from today and create your own flyers that you might want to share for marketing purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. Um, in the right spot. And I have two templates to share with you today. I'm going to drop the links for those in the chat. Um, so if you open your chat box, you should see those two links. The first one we'll look at is spring vocabulary. And the next one is farm animals vocab. So if you'll click that spring vocabulary template, that's the one we're going to look at first. That's the, uh, first, yeah, the first one. Yep. And it should look like this when you click on it and you'll click use template for new design at the bottom of that screen. Um, okay. So if you're not already signed into Canva, you'll have to probably sign in to be able to. Uh, no, I'm good. Okay, good. Okay. So let me zoom in a little bit. So this is just something that's kind of for fun, something that you can post wherever you do your marketing. Uh, looks like we have somebody else joining us. Hello. <laughs> um, hi, Emma. I'm going to go ahead and put these links in the chat again of templates that we're going over today on Canva. So if you want to click the first link that says spring vocabulary, that's what we're going to look at first. Um, and then after that, we'll look at farm animals and then I'll show you guys a couple other cool things. So this the idea of these templates that I'm showing you today is really just another way to put your face and your name out there wherever you're doing your marketing um, and just kind of demonstrate what you do as a teacher. So I teach mostly young students. My oldest is 11. My youngest is four. And so these flyers today are kind of geared towards those younger students. But I'm going to show you how you might use the same idea if you're wanting to teach adults or older students. So since it's almost spring, I made this little flyer called Spring Vocabulary. Um, my students are um, all in China. And so I'm basically showing them like these are English words that you could learn with me. Um, so I put the little pictures of these vocabulary words the English word and that word translated in Chinese. So if you also teach younger students and your market is China, you could just take this exact template um, and not make any changes up here and then just add your contact information and your photo at the bottom. So I have already uploaded to my computer, uh, to my Canva account, a picture of myself. Um, this is literally my Facebook profile picture. I just got it from there. Um, so you can drag and drop into this little frame on the template and it puts your picture as the correct size right in the right spot. And then I use WeChat for all my communication because um, that's how all of my students in China mostly communicate. If you don't already know, WeChat's like the WhatsApp of China. So here I'm going to put my name and then my WeChat ID. And then in this bottom box, I'm going to put my QR code. So if they want, they can just easily scan that. So if your market is similar to mine, young students in China, that's all you would have to do to make this your own. And then you're done. And you can screenshot it or download it and um, start sending it out wherever you do your marketing. So in case you do not know how to download or just need a refresher, this top right button where it says share um, you click share, go down to where it says download. I usually just keep it a PNG file. It's just a photo file that's easy to send on WhatsApp or WeChat or social media. And then click download and it's going to save it to wherever your downloads go on your computer. Um, so that one is super simple. I'll show you another one that I made also for young kids. It's a farm animals vocabulary. So that's the next template if you want to click that. And again, click use template for new design at the bottom. Okay, and then this one, 
basically the same idea. I just put the teacher name and um, contact info at the top. So you would do the same thing, insert your name, um, go to uploads, add your picture into those little photo frames, <laughs> add your contact information, and then you're done once again. So these are kind of meant to just be a cute little eye-catching way to advertise, like, come teach with me, I'll teach you this or come learn with me, I'll teach you this vocabulary. Um, you can, with Canva, you can personalize, you can change pretty much everything. If you wanna change the color of the border or the fonts, or if you even wanna swap out, um, you know, the terms here, you can make changes easily by just like deleting stuff um, and putting something else in its place. Um, I did want to show you if you like this concept, but maybe don't want to use spring vocabulary or farm animals, um, rather than deleting everything on this page and putting all new content on this page, you can search Canva for other templates that you can kind of use the same idea with. So I'm going to go just to canva.com and I'm going to search, um, let's say I want to do emotions vocabulary. Um, so then I don't have a paid Canva account. So I always just scroll through to try to find a good free one um, that I can kind of manipulate and do the same idea. So um, there's a lot of cute ones for the premium account, but okay, I might use this one here because it looks like it would have some space where I could easily add in the Chinese word and I could also um, add my contact information. So I'm going to click customize this template and I'll show you guys how I made the templates that I shared with you today. So um, for this one, I need a little bit of space on here to put my contact information. So I might delete a couple of these boxes like, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of which ones I should keep. I'm going to take away disgusted and I'm going to I could probably just put my contact information in that one square. And then for these, I'm just going to highlight all of these boxes. I'm holding shift down so I can select them all at once. And I'm going to move them up to create space. So I just hi I highlighted one, clicked on it, then hit shift, held it down while I clicked all the others. And then I just pressed the up key on my keyboard so I can move them all at the same time. Um, and then what I'm going to do is double click here so I can type. I'm going to hit enter. And here is where I'm going to put that word um, in Chinese. So I'm going to open Google Translate. Um, English. So the word is joyful. I'm going to hit this arrow to switch it back just to make sure it's translating correctly. So you can see the word that it gave me for joyful when I translate it back into English, it's actually happiness. I might actually just change that then on my um, flyer. So I'll copy this Chinese word. Well, I guess I've got happy on here too. Okay, then I'm going to take away joyful just so we don't have to worry about that. And that gives me more space to put my contact information. So I'll put happy instead. Let's make sure, okay, so that one stays as happy. Just making sure that my translation doesn't get lost or like is, isn't incorrect when I send out this flyer. So now I have happy on there. Move that back down a little bit. And then I could do that for all of these words. Go through and put, um, go to translate Chinese to English, find the Chinese word to put underneath. And then over here, now I've got this space where I can put my contact information. So I'm just going to add a text box where I'll put teacher live. Move that over here. I'll highlight this, make it a little bit bigger. And you can change the fonts, the color, whatever you want. Um, then I'll add WeChat ID. 
And then I'm going to add my photo and my um, QR code again. So I'll just dump my photo right in there. Since I don't have a frame here, I'm just dragging and dropping my photo. I'm going to have to resize it. And then I'll put my picture at the bottom. Okay. Um, oh, and then I wanted to add space. So the idea of all of these that I'm showing you is like to get somebody's attention, show what you do, and then invite them to come take classes with you. So I'm going to add, I'm actually going to go back to um, my last template, the farm animal one. Where is it? I'm just going to copy this where it says come and learn English with me. So I click it, I hit control C, or you could right click and click copy. And then I'm going to paste that in here too. And you can turn this, reorient it however you want to. And so now I've just picked a new topic that I just found a template on Canva and turned it into another little piece of advertising um, for myself. So I, I'm not going to take the time to go through and put all the Chinese words right now because you get the get the point. But um, basically just I would finish putting those words here just to show like this is some vocabulary I could teach you. Um, and you can pick Canva has so many templates already created. You could really search for any topic you want. Um, or if you wanted to maybe make a flyer that showcases some of the characters that you might include in your teaching. Maybe you like to use um, certain songs or um, popular characters like Harry Potter or the Frozen characters or whatever. You can make a flyer like this that just kind of gives a glimpse of what you might be including in your lesson and then add your name, your contact information and come learn English with me. So it's just kind of a different way to advertise um, your teaching services without it just being a flyer that's like informational. Okay, so yeah, that's literally all I did. I didn't make the spring vocabulary one and the farm animals one from scratch. I searched on Canva first. So it's always, you know, work smarter, not harder. <laughs> they offer so much um, that you rarely, really have to make up anything on Canva from scratch. You can probably find at least something that you want to start with. Um, and then you can make as many adjustments as you want with what you add or delete or change colors or change shapes of things. Um, but if you just kind of think creatively about what are some things that I like to include in my lessons that I could showcase in a flyer to get people interested um, and then just search the templates they already have and make it your own. Um, hopefully that was helpful and gave you some ideas of just different ways that you can do your marketing and um, get your name out there. So I wish you guys the best of luck. Thanks for meeting with me today and have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Thank you.